Kuchisake Ana is a terrifying legend that has haunted the dreams of many. Have you heard of this dreadful figure whose name sends shivers down the spines of the Japanese? <coughs> the story of Kuchisake Ana dates back around 1200 years. It's a legend deeply ingrained in Japanese culture, with many people believing it to be based on real events. Around 1200 years ago, in a village in Japan, there lived a remarkably beautiful girl. She was married to a samurai, which in Japan meant a warrior of noble descent. He was a man who had fought in many wars. One day, upon returning from battle, the samurai discovered his wife with another man. Furious because of his wife's betrayal, the samurai, in a fit of rage, cut off her mouth and ears with his sword. He then left the village, declaring that she would never be called beautiful again. After that, the samurai disappeared, never to return. She had always cherished being praised as the most beautiful in the village, but when she looked at her face in the mirror after the incident, she was horrified. Overwhelmed with sorrow, she couldn't bear the pain and ended her own life by using a pair of scissors to commit suicide. The story doesn't conclude there. In the early 1970s, a time of significant development for Japan, the terror of Kuchisake Ana began to surface with renewed ferocity. After that, horrifying incidents unfolded on the streets of Japan. The sight of numerous dead bodies, including children, left the people there utterly shaken. No one knew what was happening or who was behind it. Eventually, after a prolonged period, people identified the perpetrator as Kuchisake Ona. Kuchisake Ona would appear before people wearing a surgical mask and wielding a pair of scissors, asking them two questions. Do you think I am beautiful? If the answer is yes, the next question will be asked. If the first question is asked while wearing a surgical mask, the next question will be asked after taking it off. After removing the mask, the sinister-looking Kuchisake Ona will ask once more, Am I still beautiful? Then the response of those encountering Kuchisake Ona would be, No. And upon hearing that answer, she would swiftly kill her victims. Now if anyone answers yes in an attempt to escape, Kuchisake Ona will use the scissors in her hand to mutilate the victim's face, tearing off their mouth to make it resemble hers. In short, if these two questions are answered, it means the person's life will come to an end at the hands of Kuchisake Ana. Even if the victim doesn't answer any further, Kuchisake Ana will still proceed to kill them. This was her method of operation. If you attempt to escape, you're still out of luck because no matter which way you turn, she will reappear in front of you and repeat the challenge again. Kuchisake Ana's primary victims are young children. As children, they would likely answer her questions truthfully, which would unfortunately lead to the end of their lives. It is even said that the Japanese government tried many things to protect children. After a few days, Kuchisake Ona disappeared. Once again, the people of Japan returned to normal life. Kuchisake Ona reappeared in the 1990s and disappeared again in the late 90s. Later, in the early 2000s, Kuchisake Ona appeared once more. Thus, she continued to appear and disappear at intervals. Each time she appeared, she remained the same. Witnessing this, the Japanese government and people grew increasingly confused and unsure of what to do. But there are those who claim that she has not appeared since 2000. The fervent hope of the Japanese people is that Kuchisake Ona, a problem that even the Japanese government couldn't solve, will never return. The question of whether Kuchisake Ona is real or just a myth has been debated. Many people believe that such a legend could never spread in a highly developed country. And there are those who believe that there might be something else behind this phenomenon. Some argue that it could be someone exploiting the name of Kuchisake Ona for their own purposes. 
In any case, it's undeniable that something like this has occurred. The story of Kuchisake Ana is real. It's also true that many people, including children, lost their lives in these events. However, a significant number of people believe that the vengeful spirit of the woman known as Kuchisake Ana is the one behind these occurrences. But some who hold more unconventional views believe that someone with a psychotic nature may be committing such brutal acts, akin to a serial killer. These individuals believe that the legend of Kuchisake Ona and her life story may have been used to conceal these atrocities. Indeed, regardless of the explanations or interpretations, the name Kuchisake Ona has been associated with the loss of many lives.